Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich, playing as that beautiful Romanian nation. So last time we kicked the Dona Adria Bund, Bund, Bund to the curb, and we've united all of Romanians under one government. A, u a union much deserved. But right now we're watching the Reich's packet. It's poop pushed in by the Moscow Accord, as well as a little bit, just a tiny bit, by the Third International. So a couple comments to address. I could potentially. What is that? Oh, we gotta do uh, together now and forever. Do or bypass white peace by declaring readiness for war with Serbia to attack Austria. We could do that. We'll think. We'll think about that. Land for Romanians. That looks pretty good. We need more political power, though. Oh, we gotta demobilize. I don't want to do that. Anyways, uh, someone recommends that if I do join the Entente, don't attack the Reich's Pact until the Third International is gone. We might like. I want to. Just attack the Reichs Pact once the Third International is actually doing really well, especially against both sides. So once the Reichs Pact is going to really fall, we're just going to go zoom in, in and take out Hungary, Galicia, Ludomeria maybe, at least Bulgaria, Austria. So even Austria is ceding some lands as well, so we got to keep an eye on that. Right now we do have a war justification going finally, since we do have a positive amount of political power. Even though it's still going to take a while, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and that's most of the comments, except that I did ask you guys yesterday why Ascu is always like in a lot of Romanian names. I guess it's just a Romanian thing. So the Mehadenti Commission. When removed, replace Union Zeal with Integration Transylvania. Oh my goodness, that looks so bad. More daily compliance gain, that's pretty good though. Hmm, give and take. The Commonwealth of America arises. Is it going to be a revolution of democracy, or what's going to happen? Like Commonwealth. You don't have... Pelly here, do you? No, you're led by Gurley, Flynn. Bath, Gurley, Flynn. Oh man, imagine they'd be led by... Pelly, that'd be kind of wild. But we're watching Europe burn, which is okay. And we will go down to partial mobilization if we have to. We only have minus 14% stability, that's okay. Still trying to make a few more dockyards so we can maybe make a few ships? Probably not. Uh, you know what? That's the case. Go ahead and make these first. Make them first. Cool! Some more divisions. I always love more divisions. Always, 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 always. Good. That was taking a while for some reason. Not sure why. Corneliu. There goes Panama. Cool. Bye-bye, Panama. Man, the Reichs Pact is really not having a good time. Even the Union Burn is still down here like we established yesterday. They're kicked out of there. The Russians are really want Riga. They actually... Oh, they didn't have to naval invade, but they came through here. Lithuania is starting to get really kind of crushed. Which is a good thing to watch. And we have enough political power. I really don't want to do this, but we do need more daily compliance probably. Yeah, we definitely, 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 definitely do. And they'll do land for Romanians, which gives us more weekly manpower and stability, which will be a great thing. Ah, uh, integration of Cluj. Uh, I didn't realize this is going to take so long to actually integrate everything here, but makes sense. Less weekly war support. Oh boy, connected railways. Old Anton ties. Very good, very good. And let's do the future direction. Mm, we could. The Carlos Restoration first. His Majesty Carol II has emerged victorious in his duel with the so called Captain. With Conjunu out of the way, the king may now proceed with his plan to restore his rightful place in the Romanian nation. Long live the king! And actually getting more paternal autocrat support will give us even more daily political power, which is a very, very good thing. Very, very good. Uh, as we watch Europe burn. We got a lot of manpower. Good. Infantry equipment. We're not doing too bad on that, too. You guys are 18 combat with. Hmm. Motorized. Hmm. I do have these divisions. We might switch around the cavalry to become this. Do we have any light tanks? How many motor... Oh, we got quite a bit of motorized. Let's do that one. Uh, we can do that as well. That'd be fine. Hmm. If we did it like this... Oops. So that's... Eh, we got enough. We really don't have enough army XP, just in case. 163. I wish you could compare two templates. So let's take a look. There's this one. So 163. 52 organization. Soft attack for 163. 56, 65, right now the motorized actually has 125, oh, that's the wrong one. The cavalry right now has just a little bit more soft attack, more organization, uh, piercing is a little bit less for the cavalry, breakthrough is actually less on these guys, but that's just because they have less battalions. These guys actually have more defense, but if I do this... 
you get more breakthrough, you get more defense, you get all that good stuff with it. Uh, if I throw on motorize, we even lose more organization. It's almost seven. But you get quite a bit more breakthrough, way more soft attack. Yeah, I think that'd be worth it. Good. And we're pretty much out of army XP. Almost. Almost. Would it be worth converting this first division? This one. We'll get infantry equipment that we don't really need, but that's okay. How much artillery do we have? Do we have enough? We probably don't have enough, honestly. Uh, that really wouldn't be good. Stop making so many guns. Make more artillery first. Good. Good, good, good. Let's see, I just want to see. Once this capitulates, this whole part, I might just... I really want to attack. I really, really, really want to attack. <laughs> Ah, uh, but let time go on. Watch the world burn a little bit. Oh, crud. I forgot I lost ability from doing this. I did not select it. That was my fault. Then again, I guess I'm just going to wait another 120 days to uh, not do anything here with, with this. Ease of conscription? Why? Formation of the National Peasants Party. If you want to read this, this is quite a bit. Holy cow. Single party of the National Peasants Party. Wow. Um, left wing will need the National Party. Oh. Center. And the right wing will lead... Oh, man, I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, we'll go with the right wing, because that seems like a cool idea for now. Oh, we can join the Entente. Oh, yeah, we'll ask to rejoin. Let's, let's, let's do that first before we do Romanians, maybe. Yeah, let's do that first. Carlos Restoration, please. Thank you. Ukraine is looking really sad right now, though. Riga has still not fallen. That's good. Oh, someone's invaded. Portugal's invaded. Nice. Oh, there goes Albania by the Union of Britain. Good job, guys. See if they'll let us in. Hopefully. 48 days, good. Uh, we haven't heard anything back yet. Can, can we, guys? Can we join? Please? Maybe? Hmm. Alright, so now we can compare these two. Hey, there we go. So, Romania rejoins the Entente. So, unsurprisingly, the Entente has accepted our request. We can now once again be part of the Entente, arm in arm with the true governors of governments of France and Britain. Romania's true allies and friends. Ah, I got political power after that. Nice. So we got the motorized on the left, and we got them cavalry on the right. So, this is way more soft attack. 70 more soft attack. More hard attack. A little bit less than 70 more defense. 18 more breakthrough. 17 more breakthrough. Oh, actually, it's less piercing, actually. Even though these are 18 combat with, so let's keep that in mind. This, this has used a little bit more supply. This is more recon. This has slightly less recovery rate. And organization is 40 compared to the 60. This has less HP as well, but this is actually twice as fast. So, good to know. Alright, go and convert both of you. We're modernizing the Romanian army. Good. Cool. So, a delegation from the Canadian government arrived today to formally invite the Romania to the IEDC, the Imperial Economic Development Council. The IEDC was created to foster greater economic cooperation within the Entente with yearly and voluntary contributions of political power which are invested back in member nations at the discretion of the Dominion of Canada. There are those in the government who express concern whether Romania could actually see a return for its investment, seeing as the Dominion of Canada could simply decide to invest everything in itself, but considering donations are voluntary, it seems like that would ensure a short life for the IEDC. Join? I'm not sure if investing more is good, but we're going to go all the way. Go all the way. We could always leave the Entente whenever we want to. And, ooh, what was this? Ooh, look at that. Current IEDC political power. Investment. So, it's willing to invest in Romania. Although it does not build any particular Romanian state in so much as boosts our overall industrial capacity through the Entente's economic cooperation. These factories remain so long as our participation in the alliance persists. In what direction shall we encourage this new investment? Civilian? Arms? Dockyards? I want to go civilians because we can always trade stuff away, probably. And I always want to build more. In the arms workshops are always good. IEDC advisors. Our contribution to the IEDC allows us to take advantage of their pool of advisors, the benefit from which is greater, depending on how much we contributed to the group. How shall we use them over the next year? Wow, more resources, consumer goods goes down by 3%, factory output plus 10%. These are naval engineers, naval output, that's not bad, but we don't really need that right now. Constru oh god, construction speed? Oh, we could build things even faster? Mm, we can't really build, you know what, get rid of that. I want more civilian factories. I know, I have a problem. I have a big old problem. Wait, I, thought, I said civilians. Civilian? Oh, I said civilian, maybe I didn't click on it. I would say build that stuff up as fast as possible, because this is nice. Oh, we could use more output, though. 
Ah, screw it. Build, 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 build. We could go to war, help them out. I don't know, I don't really feel like it right now. Serbia's got this under control. Leave the IDEC, yeah, no thanks. Oh, the Entente Alliance? The Imperial Scientific and Academic Council is a leading institution in the Entente. we joining it would be able to benefit from its world-renowned research capabilities. I wonder if we can. Current political power. Ooh, so Australia, the Confederation, French Republic, Sardinia, Portugal, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Serbia, Pacific States of America, and Romania. Hopefully. Canada and the PSA are able to stop the Commonwealth of America, but... Like, they might not be able to. Sweden joined the Reich Pack. Cool. Hyderabad is gone. Yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in the Entente. If we need to leave, man, we'll leave. We need to. Maybe. Oh, Tarana's right there as well. Cool. 31 days. The Russian advance has kind of slowed down, which is fine. Come on, I just, I just want that land for Romanians with Transylvania ours. It is only natural that we apply the land reform bill there. This will greatly empower formerly oppressed local Romanians and dis dispossess the foreign Magyar nobility, allowing the former to take their rightful place in the region's economy and administration and dismantling the latter's iron grip on the region. Good. I'm making, I'm researching all this stuff, is it? Do I need, maybe I should focus on something else real quick. No, we already have, pretty much have all this other stuff done first. Uh, yeah, we already have that one done too. I'm not making tanks right now. We could make some of that stuff, but now. Cool. Advanced heavy holes. I love it. Good. Grab that, and we'll make some heavy holes. Make ships, maybe. It's going to take forever, but that's okay. And land for Romanians, please. Yes, please. Commission, which really sucks. Unionist zeal. I like more attack and defense against Hungary. Now, together and forever. How do we do all this stuff? Civilian factor use. more A lot more steel, which is pretty good. Compliance more than 50%. Pacification of Skessler land. Oh. Oh. Ah, the Carlos Restoration, my friends. Reward the loyal, the remaining legionnaires. Not bad. Let's go to the future direction next. So our quest is twofold. Finishing the dream of Greater Romania and ensuring safe, thriving neighborhoods for us. We should ensure that our friends in the region remain so in order to establish a stable order for Romania to thrive and I'll see what happens with that. I'm not really sure what will happen. But it looks like we need to really save our political power up, though. Go, Russia, go! Smash whoever. Go, 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 go! And there's not much else we can do right now. Which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, kind of sucks. Well, I've got more artillery. Maybe we can save a little bit of manpower, perhaps? We're not gonna always have this amount of manpower, so... Go ahead and do it, that's fine. You got 14 days, not bad. Go and train. Lowers by one. You gotta save on uh, artillery. Oh, fortification works? Oh, oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, whatever. You guys are over there, which is fine. You guys are still down here, hanging out, having a good time. I really don't want to ease up on conscription. If not selected, we lose more stability. I don't really want to lose any more stability. I'll be honest. I like having stability. Stability is usually pretty good. Yes, Canada, I know we could come into the war, but... There's really not much... There's no reason for me to really join, so... Oh, they're actually invading... What the heck? Who's invading there? Uh, The Union of Britain's trying to invade... The Dominion of Canada. Good job, Canada. Good job. Ooh, undo foreign influence. Ooh, integration, more daily political power and war support. That's not bad. Ooh, you lose stuff there. Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. Oh, god dang it, do it. All right. For 90 days, when done, you get more political power. Over here, we're going to lose weekly war support, which wouldn't be terrible. Integration of the land. I can only choose so much. We'll do this one and that one, and then we'll do that one next. Land for Romanians. Oh, we do get more stability because of that, too, which is great. Great, 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 great. Uh, the Islamic Federation of Turkestan is looking pretty thick. I like how thick they are. It's actually really nice. How many people live here? I love the guy's that guy's portrait. He looks so like content. That hat and the beard. It reminds me of, like Chummy from Pawn Stars. I'm not sure why. Uh, you guys, what are you up to? You are fighting the Reich's Pact. That is. Are you in the Entente? No, you're in your own faction. The Z the clique has definitely gotten large. Wow. Wow. You don't want to do that. Anything else? No. 
which is good. Which is a very good thing. You can only get 0.58 political power a day. Good lord, that is not good. Alright, well, things have definitely slowed down. Munich is a frontline city, which is cool. Mülhausen, Amiens. Uh, not looking great. Come on. Just, just a little bit more political power, please. And I wonder what the future direction will do for us. I really don't know. Is fully independent. Hmm. Maybe we could get better relations with the Bulgarians? Maybe? Hopefully? I don't know. Converted carrier hulls, yeah, we've already decided on which way we're going with that. Uh, gunship stuff. Oh, actually, that would not be bad to get. Modern naval guns. Anything else here of importance? Not really. Good. Alright, let's see if we can make a heavy ship hull. Super heavy? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna slow us way down. Whee! Oh, empty air, yeah. Oh, these ships are going to be so incredibly heavy. Yeah, I don't want to make it that slow. Replace that with secondary batteries. Alright, okay, that, that might change my opinion then. Battleship? Yeah, go with that one. Um... Super heavies. Piercing is not bad. I've already placed this with this. How much more attack do we get? We are 24 and a half knots per minute. That is so much I have to do that. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for big cannons. The bigger the cannon, the more interested I get. Uh, Basarabia? Cool. And we def... Oh my gosh. We need so much steel now. Oh. We can do that. We can afford a little bit more. Maybe get one chromium. We can only afford so much. Oh wait, do we have a? We have a good amount. Okay. Well, in that case, get one more steel then. The future direction, great. Let's get rid of these national populists. While the legion has effectively collapsed, far too many high-profile legionnaires remain at large and therefore a threat to the government. We must eliminate the dangerous ones and purge the rest for the crimes against the nation. Oh, now why did chromium go back down? God dang it. I had a surplus, and now I don't. Cool. Uh, keep an eye on that. Atomic research. Good. Faster research speed. I love it. It's almost 41. Gets more output. Artillery is looking much better now. Much, 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 much better. You guys are looking okay. You guys are probably doing okay as well. Gain infantry. Manpower. We need more guns. That's okay. Well, that blows that one too. Gonna lose some weekly war support for about six weeks. Six percent. That's not terrible. Get less resistance target, gets more daily compliance, and then we can integrate that one province. Ooh, Pact of Organization. Formation of Economic Council. As part of our desire to deepen ties with our allies and improve economic situation of the entire Balkan region, we can propose the formation of an economic union. An economic council will be formed to direct it, consisting of trade and financial experts of its member states, uh, which will advise the Belgrade's Pax leaders. The more members will agree, the stronger the benefits will be. It doesn't seem like that would be really beneficial now, since we already are in the Entente, and we're already in the IEDC. So, we probably won't choose that. Probably. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. Are we demobilizing? Yes, we are. I don't like that. Yes, I know you want me coming to the war, but there's literally no point for me to join the... Oh. Maybe I spoke too early. The fall of Mexico. Oh, the fall of Mexico City. If you can take out Mexico, Brazil's doing a bang-up job. God dang, son. That's very nice. But, uh... Oh, we can go to war with the... Where I expect we want to right now. Hmm, probably not. If they can take out Mexico before America gets involved, you know, the Commonwealth of America, that'd be good. Please, 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 Union of Britain, capitulate to the Canadians. That would be so good for us. 1941, construction speed. They even invaded here, but they got encircled. Are you... Did you pair drop or something, or did you just get... They must have just gotten encircled. That's so stupid. Oh, you guys, why you do this to yourself? Why, 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 why? We need more of this, too. Where's it down to three? We definitely need more support equipment because our infantry is going to need it. For more recon? Field hospitals. Field hospitals. Manpower is precious. Oh, did they actually break through? They actually got a port in Bristol. Wow. These guys are getting attacked here. Yeah, the, the advance from the Russians have definitely stopped. Now, as much as I want to take out the Bulgarians and make them my puppets, probably won't happen anytime soon. We're really, unfortunately, stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Really sucks. 
We need more stability, which is nice. We'll get some more political power that way. How is resistance here? What are we even using for resistance? Entente, Chinese factions, good, good. Oh, that's quite a bit of resistance, 30.4. It's going down, good. Transylvania, 26.3. And it's going down as well. Galicia, Ludomeria. Which really kind of sucks that it's... There's so much resistance here. I mean, I understand there should be some, but... I still wish it was kind of our own core. It'd be kind of nice. I really don't want to demobilize the economy. We're already hurt as it is, trying to do that stuff. Why? Why? And we can only get 0.59 political power. Wow. Integration. Oh, connect the railways. Oh, we need these as cores. Monetary union. Undo foreign influence, which we're doing. And we're doing that one as well. Cool. Keep it for as long as we can for now. And that'll be a good thing. That'll be a very, very good thing. And naval XP just continues to go up, which I love. Love. We're almost done with this. A week left. We're done. Not anywhere close with our land auction. That's okay. And we can go to war with the Rexpect until January 28th, which isn't bad, but still. No! Ugh, why? We have we lost three more civilian factories. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. How are the Mountaineers? Yes, I know I could join your war. I don't want to. Uh, we could put military police on them, but that really doesn't do much for us. Thank you, Cavalry. But I love your upgrade more. Legionnaire veterans, we don't believe in those people. Victory of the Barge Commune, the remaining legionnaires, and we shall do the reward of the loyal. In these dire times, with treason widespread, it is important to keep in mind those who have remained loyal to His Majesty during the toughest hour. Rewards are plenty to those who remain steadfast, just as punishment is dealt to those who betray us. We get more political power and popular party support, which means even slightly, slightly more political power as well. So, yeah, right now I'm just kind of hanging out waiting. We just have to wait. Oh, that is not good. You already lost that area. That is not good, son. Sudan. Actually, let's look at, let's look at the faction. So we have the Reich's Pact and the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Actually, Reich's Pact, are you fighting Japan? No. We have the Middle Africa. We have the Anton up there. Probably, it's just probably not a good idea for us to attack the Reich's Pact right now. Bitter International's right there. Ooh, division. Come hang out next to the Bulgarian border for now. Uh, and Europe is on fire. Because I know if the Reich's Pact wins against a third international, Austria-Hungary will leave the Reich's Pact once the war is over, which I'm sort of hoping and waiting for. That would actually prove to be very, very good for us if that could actually happen. So, kind of just have to wait. Just have to wait. And actually having Serbia, basically Proto-Yugoslavia and Albania here united with me, that can be good. <laughs> can be, even though we did see how Serbia did not do that well earlier. And they still only have a single division per tile. Then again, they have a lot of resistance here under Peter II. Uh, are you guys doing integration stuff? I'd really recommend integrating stuff. Brotherly Union. That's cool. Former Merchant Navy. Former Merchant Navy. Focus on ships. Union Day. I love Union Day. Oh, nice. So we should be able to hopefully core stuff relatively soon. 47% right there in this area in Transylvania. Should be able to core that banana. 74%. God dang. Partium. Uh, that's all one big old partium. Cluj is 48% as well. Dispersed industry is nice. Let's go and grab that one. Let time go on a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. We lose wars, tons of war support. Holy cow. Sukovina. Uh, there's no resistance down here. Uh, it's probably best if we core the most populous states like Cluj, Transylvania. Yeah, and Benet. Cluj, Transylvania, Benet. There you go. Yeah, saving up this political power is going to be really important. Oh god, we're going to lose so much war support. Oh god, why? Maybe it's worth doing war propaganda then. Oh, they're picking up someone's fighting over here. Oh, they expanded a little bit more over here as well. Not bad. Oh god, I wish I could be over there just to take on their forces. Just to get some more army XP, that'd be so nice. But you know what, being at peace is always good as well. Just so we can stockpile our supplies of goods. So important. Guys, why are you still attacking over there? Oh, what are the losses like for everyone? That's actually a really good question to ask. Albanian British War. 1.26 for the Entente, that's terrible. 4.47 for the Third International, that's not bad. That's actually not too bad. Let's see, you guys. 41, happy 1941, like I said earlier. Resources might be good to extract. Radar. 
Uh, the, oh god, the Chinese War. Casually 3 million people have died so far. Another one. Casually 2 million people have died. The Transmurian... Oh, the Second Valkyrie. Transmurian and Belgian War. Quarter million. And then you have oh, roughly 4 versus almost 7 million. Germany, I can you keep, really keep this up? I don't know if Germany is able to keep this up, but they are doing well against the Union of Britain right there, which is good. Oh, uh, no, they still have, oh, wow, that's a lot of manpower. They still have over a million? Are you kidding me? Wow. You guys have a third of a million, and you guys have less than 200,000 on service by requirement. Volunteer, or limited conscription. Extensive conscription. I like the brown. Brown. Cool. Oh, let's integrate someone else. Sukiava. The faster we do it, the better we, and more ready we will become. Please kill off Mexico. Please kill them all before this war starts again. Them having red Texas. This is not red flood. That's just disgusting. Red Mississippi. Now that is something you probably won't hear about too much. Wow. Man, we got so much manpower. 75. That's going up a little bit. That's not really going up at all. You only have 66 divisions, man. Oh my gosh. But at least we're going down to focus tree still. Drafting the Royal Constitution. So the last few years have only demonstrated that the current constitution is incredibly flawed. No longer will demagogues like Conjunu will be able to sway the public. The king and only the king will lead the nation. Although parliament remains, with senators appointed by his majesty and deputies reorganized along corporatist lines, executive and legislature power is vested in the king. More stability and... Our party popularity goes up by 10%. Beautiful. Oh, let's go do this. We didn't like war support. Actually, we, we love war support. Do that one too. So it's going down. Stability is going up. But war support is going down by minus 5% a week. God dang, son. That is a lot. That is quite a bit. Please, someone capitulate. Please, someone die. Come on. Just not the Entente. Oh, uh oh. Paris is a frontline city. That's not good. You guys are still holding on here, which is awesome to see. Helvetic Commune. How much manpower does Switzerland even have? Uh, led by the Geneva Council of the State. Not that much manpower, but that's okay. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Strasbourg? Strasbourg. You didn't even get Bordeaux. What's the point of even doing that, man? There is no point. Um, India looks really good. I don't like India, because they're Bharatiya Commune right now. They got a lot of resistance. They must not have a lot of guns. Oh, good job, Anton. Oh, I feel better about joining the Anton now. That is that is not bad. Nice, and we're actually done trying to organize everything here. Connect the railways. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. We're going to make sure we really unify ourselves. Oh, Sacramento's a capital, huh? Hmm. Destroy Jim Crow, which might be a good thing. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I really wish New England in this campaign went with Canada. That actually would have been really, really good. This might be different if they did not join that way. Oh, hey, they invaded down there, but... Uh, Australasia, why? Why? This is going to be another Gallipoli for you. Why? Actually, I should really put these guys here, but that's okay. That's okay. Any other divisions? Poland. Oh, they don't have a lot of manpower. Ukraine is a little bit left. You guys have quite a bit left. That's good for them. White Ruthenia has a few guys left. Belgium, I can't imagine, has that much. Yeah, this is... Oh, God, Canada, why? You lost your only ports. If they get to Norwich, that'd be great, but... Mm, we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, ooh, and they're not going to get it, it looks like. Big sadness, but hey, we're not big sad here because we got construction four. Fuel, well, we don't really need to do that. Anything for. Uh, I'll do this one, yeah, that'll be fine. Maybe start doing some tank things, potentially. God, even if I want to build ships, it's going to take so long to build, and I don't have the industry for it. Mediums. Well, I guess we can build more now. Anti-air 1, fire control 0, radar 3, cruiser 4, secondary batteries. I mean, we can make some good stuff, but... Man, oh man. Even more so we can trade away for more stuff? That might not be bad. Give me another military factory there, and then build some dockyards here. Here. 
Hmm. Actually, before we do that, we're missing literally just steel and chromium for this ship. We have more steel available than chromium, so I'm going to get one more thing of chromium real quick. That should speed it up to not that much further. If I do one more, can we get better than February 1945? May? Oh, that helped out by a lot. By like seven months. Jesus. That's better. God, we need more steel. Uh, 140 that is anything. Ah, see. Yep. Use some, get eight more steel. That'd be great. Get into the civilian factory. Go ahead and do it since it seems like it's a good idea to do it anyways right now. The faster we do it now, the sooner we'll have it with us. Oh, did I just get rid of that for some reason? Why did I get rid of that? Coastal to ships. This is the one we want, yeah. Cool. Rapid fire. Escort four. Good. Save it. Anything here? Uh, let's see. What's in the middle? Aircraft. Good. Anti-air. I almost never use torpedoes. Even though torpedoes are, can be really, really good. Anti-submarine. I haven't really researched that at all. Get more anti-air. Even though it's not really great right now. Whatever. Not bad. Good. That's actually not a bad flight cruiser. Now, will we ever be actually able to make it? Probably not. Drafting the Constitution. National Re Renaissance Front. Oh, not bad. Royal... Oh. Philanthropy. Let's do that one. So as the nation rebuilds itself, we lose political power, but the king, as savior of the nation, must be at the forefront of the philo philanthropic endeavors throughout the country. This is needed not only to restore his majesty's reputation, but to help repair the fabric of society torn by manipulative demagogues and incompetent politicians. And right now, I'm just trying to go as fast as we possibly can for uh, the focuses. Because we're not really doing a whole lot here, but it's good to watch what the happens in the world. And Austria is slowly losing. They already lost Sud Tyrol. Wow. Oh, man. How many more factories we got? Oh, I only have ten. I can maybe go by one more. Maybe just one more. Uno more steel. Uno more. That helps us out to... Good. That's better. Oh, Ireland is not looking great. Honestly, I'd rather have the Third International win first and then the Reichspact fall to Moscow. Maybe? Maybe not. It might... Mm, Regardless of whoever wins the Velt Creek right now, it's not, probably not going to be the Entente, which is not good. But that's still okay. We can still we can still do well. Fleet and being, you might as well do that since we have naval XP. For that, yeah, yeah. What is what is you Russia doing? You're led by Pavel the second, a kid, a literal kid. I'm not sure why you've stopped. I mean, if you could just like snipe one of these guys, you'd be good. But something's going on here in Russia that. We really don't know. Anything else here? No, not yet. Cool, we get eight, eight more steel, which is awesome. Another civilian factory, together, now and forever. Oh, integration. We just need more compliance. Connect the railways, we need core, core. And it's this, of all places, you think this partium would be less receptive of us? Wow, look at that manpower, 900,000, Jesus. But over here, you think this would be a little bit more close to us and being able to integrate them a little bit faster, but apparently not. Apparently not. It goes up by 0.3. Okay, that's not bad. High compliance, 0.3 a day. I, I can get along with 0.3 or, or maybe even a little bit more than that. I, I'm okay with that, but hmm. Oh, look at that. Weekly war support. Oh, God, no. God dang, Kaiserreich is just incredibly laggy. The fall of Paris, it seems the commune of France, is all now but assured. I wonder, if the Third International falls, then will Austria capitulate, or just leave the uh, Reichspact? Or do, do they also have to now beat Russia? Because Russia, I think they might have taken one more tile, maybe. Maybe not. Guys. I was going to say, if you're going to invade, at least take a port, which they did, but now they left the port. Why do you only attack? I know it's Sardinia, but you should have at least more than one division than that. Oh, yes, yeah, integrate them quickly, 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 quickly. For 70 days? Oh, my goodness. Um, Maybe tank stuff? 41. And eh, military police, because we could still use that, even when we get all these cores done. Oh, my goodness. Build, build, build. Oh, we actually can get some more resources. Nice. Get one more. We love South Africa. Okay, that's looking better. It's only two years away now. That was only two years. <laughs> oh, God. 
Um, over here, Kim, we cannot throw anything on there because we're not getting enough army XP. Big disappointment. Oh, God, man. Come on. Uh, oh, but wait. We can eventually grab what? We got Maloxa. We got them. Where was that little... Oh, we if we get enough army XP, we, get, we can get this one. That wouldn't be too bad. Improved artillery, great. Just go and grab this. It's fine. That'll be fine. Oh, the Minion of Canada, nice. You actually took Plymouth and Bristol, nice. Very, very good. Anything else? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Send in the army. We could raise our stability a little bit more. Could. Three days, and then we'll have one mole civilian factory. A beautiful thing, I know. Quite. Royal philanthropy. Corporate alliance. Ooh. Manufactured cost goes down. That's not bad. Crown patronage. Oh, yeah. So, His Majesty is an unapologetic lover of the arts, and large sums are being spent subsidizing cultural projects, especially if they serve to improve the king's image. While he has little interest in economics, I do, though, his advisors are able men, and they suggest continuing large-scale or large-state-run development projects throughout the country, which only helps cultivate his philanthropic image. Actually, that's, that's, that's really good. Reshaping the country wouldn't be too bad. Renaissance France might be good. Cult of personality. Oh, you get more stability and political power. All this stuff is really good. An idealized sovereign. That's even better. Even more political power. More political power and research speed. King of the Rebirth. Hmm. It seems like he's really approaching a rebirth of cultural... Uh, of the cultural past, I guess. Which sounds somewhat familiar to our timeline, 1920s Italy, under a guy named B.M. Hmm. Now we are paternal autocrats, I suppose. But that's okay. Crown patronage. Oh, we. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, hello. Hello. Why are you. They already capitulated again. Wait. Got, uh, hmm. That might not be good. Actually, who? Well, uh, maybe I should not have selected that. Can I come down here? I can. I'm just gonna want to watch and see what happens. Just, I mean, I don't think the Union Britain will really do too much. But it's always good to keep an eye on things. You will be. Oh, they are doing okay over there. They're doing okay. Please, why did you get encircled? Why is the AI like this? Why? Why? Yeah, we lost a little bit of political power, but hey, 1.3 is still not bad. Mexico is owned by Brazil. But you wouldn't really be able to tell if you didn't realize that it says Brazil. Good job, Brazil. You you did a great job. Look at that guy. Looks kind of skinny. Borges de Medeiros. Glad to have you on board. Not bad. We're still demobilizing, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, can I train? We can train another division of this. Not bad. Couple more divisions, actually. We are skilled mountaineers here, so. And we have plenty of guns, plenty of artillery now. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Uh oh. Oh boy, what's going on? We lost our, uh, you know, war justification to go to war with Bulgaria, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, this is what we're waiting for. We need at least 80 political power to do this. Infrastructure. Good. Oh! The Great Union. More daily political power gain, more division recovery rate, stability, and war support. And even more popularity of this group. Not bad. We could spend it to get more stability now. Uh, we are at peace. We might as well do that. We might as well. Oh, nice 15. Oh, you know what? Uh, we could really use more chromium, maybe? Hmm, 43. It's still so far away. This would be a better investment than maybe aluminum. Maybe, maybe not. Now we have a slight surplus. Now it's August 8th, 1943. You know what? Oh, I need more steel or aluminum, I mean, but... For now, I suppose we do that. Because July 24th, 1943. That's still two years away, god dang. God dang. You know what? I want a little bit of action. We might as well. Who are we fighting? Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. Help out to commune. Eh, screw it. Go ahead and join. Well, we're in this for the long haul, boys. Um, we could attack. We might as well help attack. Get, at least get a little bit of action here, right? 
I'm going to say yes, but no. Let's go ahead and put, put them out of their misery. Get her motorized a little bit more army XP. They have just a little bit of armor. No, they're a little hard, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you guys, yes. Uh, as long as it's not, it's not Austria. Oh, ah, Brazil's in the right spec. They're not in the Entente. Well, they're they're okay for now. Don't waste supplies. Go ahead and stay where you're at. They might just invade us here normally, so... Oh, we could help out. We could actually move over to Portugal. That's a really good thing you did. But it's not really smart when you lose all the lands you just got. Ah, crown patronage. Good. Corporate alliance would be okay. We can wait. National Renaissance Front. National unity has been shattered by the last few years of incompetence, driven by the selfish interests of political parties and demagogues. The division caused by parties can only be addressed by creating a single pro-government political group to replace the broken system of parties. The National Renaissance Front will serve as the king's political vehicle to rebuild and modernize old Romania. Uh, we're on partial mobilization. But we're actually doing okay with partial mobilization. We're doing okay. And three days left before we have another core, and I can spend political power to probably do together now and forever first. That's probably much more important than these other two. Yeah, we like steel. I don't want to trade for any away for any more steel. Nope. But together, now and forever. That's that only takes like three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah, I can do math. And weeks. Very good. War propaganda against the Commune of France, that'd be good to do. God dang the French are holding out very well. Well those French. These guys are just kinda of hanging down here right now. I want to help out, but I'm scared of my ships. I won't be able to, you know, stop attacks. I want to help out, but I don't want to lose divisions either. I really don't. Oh, have the French been pushed back a little bit? They might have been. The Third International looks like it really is dying. Russia, what's going on here in Russia? Please win or do something. Let the Third International fall, then let Russia win. That might be for the best. Wow, six million? Jesus, Ford observers, cool. Let's grab the next one. Uh, Greek-Belgian War, the German-Russian War, five million, Co prosperity sphere. How about over here? Almost ten million. God dang, son. God dang. I can't imagine these guys holding out for that much longer. That's well, because of manpower, though. That's good for them. They still have one million. You guys have a third of a million. You guys have none. You guys are a little bit, a little bit. Oh, Ukraine is out. Ukraine will fall. Maybe soonish. Canada, keep going. You're doing a great job so far. You're keeping the port. You put no one in there yet. You got this side as well. Oh, I want to help out so badly. How, what is the Navy like over here? I could get sunk so easily by any one of our enemy's navies. I just don't think I can justify doing that. Oh, we actually have spare steel. Wow. Spare? What did we get? Cr more chromium. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. 41. Uh, let's grab that. That's fine. If that's the case. We're doing great now. Aluminum. Thank you, Serbia. We like to make some planes down here. More, 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 more planes. 43. That's still not bad. Could make some more dockyards. Yeah, that's the one first. Even though we're halfway done with that military factory, just dockyards right now would be more important. Please, someone invade. Please, someone invade Albania again. Please do it. Make my day. Make my day. Greece is still independent. Cool, we got this thing researched. The next one researched. Hungary? Nah. We good, Hungary. We good. How's America looking? What are they up to? You gotta keep an eye on them. A social revolution, huh? More stability. What else we got here? Nothing. Second Constitutional Convention, they went with begin reconstruction. I wonder which way. Business unionism or industrial unionism. Hmm. Oh, now we can do this. Uh yeah, give me the steel first. Infrastructure is important, but not as important as steel. Come on. Oh, we're almost there. We can only get 1.32 a day. Let's see what happens. One point seven two. Very, very good. And we're not bad on war sports, no longer going down. And stability, well, we're getting slightly more right now. Liberia's gone. Cool. And we'll do that one next if we can. And National Renaissance Front. Come on, four days left. I know this video's gone all 
quite a while, and we haven't really been at war at all for the most part of it. Just it's just that we can't really do much. Oh my gosh, you are invading everywhere. This is like the biggest D-Day into the UK that I think we've seen so far in this campaign. But please reinforce better. This is a problem when you have too many people like doing stuff at the same time and no coordination. But oh well. Cult of personality, my friends, is not enough to cultivate a positive image of the king. He must be elevated further as the unchallenged conductor of the nation. His Majesty's true power must be reflected everywhere to ensure the government's legitimacy and strength in the eyes of the public and keep the nation's wounds from resurfacing. Good. More political power, more stability, but I think that's pretty much going to be today's episode, my friends. There's really not a whole ton that's happening that we can do since if I send my soldiers in the ocean or the seas, they're just going to get sunk. Let's be real. They're just going to get straight up sunk, and that wouldn't be good for anyone. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we might just see the third international collapse. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.